Well, hey family, this is Darlene. I am sitting here making uh, necklace sets for the September event. And um, I figured I would go ahead and turn the camera on. And what I did, what I'm going to use is some of my big leather beads that I created. Um, with these, I didn't do my absolute best on them. What I did is I glued them. I was a little tacky with the glue. So I could see glue here. I could see some glue here. Um, just kind of here. And what I did is once I glued the big parts on it, the beads onto the leather bead, I sat it down. And what happened is uh, when I walked away and came back, the beads had kind of slid down some. So it exposed all this glue right here, you know, which which is okay. So on this one, you really can't see it. And that's what I like. Where you, right here, you might see just a, you know, a small amount, but everywhere else you can't and here. And you really can't see all that anyway once um, I use them on the necklace. So what I did though, is I cut my wire. And guess what I did? It's about 40 inches worth of wire, okay? And it's the 16, 18 gauge. Uh, 18 gauge gold tone wire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the pendants that I made. These are like really nice. I like these. So I'm going to use this pendant. I'm going to go ahead and wire it. Not wire it, string it on the wire. So we got to start right here. And then I picked out a couple of these... Uh, uh, coconut shells. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to lay this down and you can probably just see me as I am stringing. So I'm going to put the coconut shells on here. And the reason why I like to use sometimes the coconut shells if I got, got them or some type of other flat bead is because I like for it to lay against the wire like this. Um, this ain't giving me the look that I want, so I might have to. Well, that's not bad right here. I like to try to hide the wire to where you only pretty much got something like this. And then once I put the beads on, it'll probably uh, close closer to it. So I'm going to start beading, and I am going to use a couple of the painted beads. So we'll put this one on. And then I'm going to use a couple of these little, a couple of the wood beads, the little smaller ones. On each side. And that's, look, I was going to say the hole is small. But it, it, it went on. Okay, so I'm going to show you what it looks like so far. And so far, this is what we got. And that's just the beginning part of it. And then I'm going to use the darker brown wood beads. I'm put that one on. I'll put this one on. And then I wanted to put a flat bead, which is this wood bead. This wood bead. Oops. And then I'm going to put one of the big wooden uh, leather beads on here. And then we'll put the other one on. Uh, and then I actually made this hole a little bigger than I made the other hole. 
but it, it still works out. Just need to get it to slide down. And this is the look that we get so far. Right? And then, we're going to take these beads, round beads, I'm going to put these on here. And then I'm going to take this bead, put that one on here. down and this is our look so far this is what we got so far that's jazzy I really like this so then this is what we get and I think I might want to use a couple more let me see, do I want to use, I think I'm going to use some of these beads, just the plain wood beads. So we'll put these on here. And then we'll put a couple more weed, uh, wood beads. So this one has a lot of wood beads on it. is what we get so far that's really nice this is really nice oh you know what I got a couple of emails where people were asking me um, I don't know if they're subscribers or not because they didn't specify in the um, in the email they were asking me uh, about the jury once I make the jury uh, do I put it on the website? I haven't been doing that because some of the pieces that I make, I'm either making it to go on fair. Um, I might wear it or somebody else, you know, somebody might buy it. That always buy jewelry from me. So what I'm going to start doing is like pieces um, that I've made in the last week. By the end of this week, I'm going to have those pieces on the Jewelry by BDK website. Um, my mindset just be kind, be somewhat like majority or all of the people that subscribe to the channel are jury makers. And um, people have let me know that, that they're not jury makers. And um, <laughs> where can they find the jury? And I'm just like, oh man, I never thought about that, that, you know, the people that are subscribing, some of them are not jury makers. I didn't even think that. I just think, okay, well, people you know, are generally looking for some type of uh, jewelry making ideas or, you know, just um, just something, picking up tips. And I know a lot of times um, I might do that too. Not a lot of times, but I have looked around at things or uh, other jewelry and stuff just to get an idea. Like I'll look at it and I'm like, oh my God, I can make that even better by doing, you know, one, two, three or four to it. And I'm sure, you know, people do that. You're looking for ideas, how to produce, you know, just make it better with your own little flair to it. But I never was thinking in the terms of, you know, people that are subscribers or on the channel are not jury makers. So um, thank you for bringing that to my attention. You know, now I know that everybody is not looking to make jury. You know, some of them want to buy what they see. And that's like really good stuff. I like that. So um, going forward, I'll start putting, if I'm not making it for fair or, you know, like to sell somewhere else or something, it's going to go on the Jerry by BDK website. So this is this for right now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of these beads that I got here. And I think I'm going to use probably these dark ones. You know what? No, I'm not. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to mix them up. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take two of these and lay it down. 
and I'm going to take two of the hand painted beads and I'm going to put two different colors. I'm not going to put the same colors. So I'm going to do two different colors. This will go on the Jerry by BDK website. So then I take it like this. That is amazing. I might, do I have some earrings? Might have to make a pair of earrings to go with this. Okay, so we got that. And already I'm looking at it and I see what I want to do different. With the leather beads, I'm going to make more leather beads. And then it'll have, the necklace will have four instead of two. And then I might even do them in, in different colors. But I like the way this looks already. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish it off with some, uh, with the, uh, the wood beads, if I could, the little small wood beads, if I could find them. And I'm going to finish them off with these uh, dark brown beads. So we're going to go ahead and beat them. Two. Four. Look, none of these are open. The holes are holes. Four, five. No, that's four. Let's do seven. Okay, we'll do seven on that side. And then we'll do seven on the other side and then we'll close it off. So we'll do one. Two. Three, four, five, six, and we'll do seven. Seven. And then that makes it the length that I want it. Oops, 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 oops. And this is what it'll look like finished. So what I'm going to do is just make sure it's all straight. And it looks like what I want it to look like right here where the pendant is. Right? So where those are squares against it. Everything is nice and snug and it's hanging like what I want it to look like. All right. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my finger. I'm going to fold that wire over. And I usually will just kind of wrap it like that with my finger. Because I try to keep this side closed so the bees don't, they don't move. So we got that part. And then if I look at it, I want to make sure that it's still hanging like what I want it to look like. And it is. So then I'm going to take this part. Fold it over like I do. Y'all know how we do. We fold it. And we're going to take the wire. And wrap it. And we just wrap wire. And I like to go down a couple of beads. 
just for security and then take it back up bring it around and then wrap it nice and snug so then you got your finish and you want to bring your the wire up towards the top and bend it up because what you're going to do is fold it not fold it but roll it like so and then we want to close it into there okay so that's that part and then you can see the necklace and then you have the one that's rolled not rolled but wrapped on the end of it and then I'm going to take the other side I'm going to start wrapping the wire take it down one take it down to the second one wrap it grab it and then bring it back up and just start wrapping it Bring the wire to the top of the wire because we want to take it and bring it around more this way. Roll that close. And then smash that into there like so. And then now that's your finished necklace, but I'm getting ready to put the jump rings on it. And right here is closed off exactly what I want it to be. So I, I really don't like the wire to be exposed. So I like to put flat pieces against the, uh, the hoop part of the pendant, the ones that I make. Because I would rather be looking at something pretty right there as opposed to like this big old gap with the wire. So if I didn't put anything there, you would basically see the hoop on the wire. But because I put the beads there, it pretty much hides it. So then you can see this all the way down. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my jump rings Twist that like that and put that there. And then I'm going to take my lobster clasp. And I'll put that on there. And then we're going to close it. And then I'm going to put a second one just for extra security. So I'm going to bend that open. I'm going to take it through the lobster clasp first and then put it on the wire and then I'm going to close it off. Take that jump ring. And close it off, and then we take our lobster clasp, and we just created a whole necklace just that fast <coughs> out of our leather, uh, out of our leather beads. And that's what we just did. And that's what we did. We just created this nice necklace. That's nice. Um, let me see. The earrings I can put with it. I made these earrings in another uh, video. But you can see how they would even match. And you know what? This is more than likely going to be a set.
right? And I can see this being a set. This came out really nice. I really, I love the bead. I got to be careful with the glue. I see that part. Um, but other than that, I really like this. So you can get a really good look at it. And then with the pendant. Um, and I do see one thing that I did. I put this bead because this bead says love and I put it on upside down. So what I'll do is it's easy to undo the wire on uh, this side. And because they're not really teeny beads, the beads are big enough to where it'll slide over a bended part of wire. So I can unloose this, take it, and then the holes on all the beads are big enough to where it will slide off. And then what I'll do is just take them all off change the bead upside down that's why we got to be I got to be paying attention when I'm when I'm doing stuff shoot and I might even just leave it like that that makes it unique too so but I really like the way this I like this what you guys think I love it and see this is the type of stuff I wear that's probably why I make this type of stuff because it's what I wear and I think I had told that story one time before that uh, one of the reasons why I started making jewelry because I couldn't find what I wanted. And all the jewelry that I liked was always in stores like Nordstrom's and Neiman and Marcus and, you know, all the big stores. And of course, you know, they come with a, you know, with a hefty price tag on them. So I was like, shoot, I can make that myself. And I sure did. But I like this. I love the way it came out. Let me see how we finished it off with the lobster clasp. I like this. It's really nice. All right. And thank you for, uh, thank you guys for hanging out and your comments and um, all that good stuff. And all the new subscribers, when I checked in there this morning, there's even more new subscribers. And I hope you guys are, you know, enjoying the videos and you're picking up some tips and, all that good stuff. But um, to the people that email me and saying, you know, you don't make jewelry, but you are a jewelry wearer, um, I heard you. And then if the pieces that I make do not go unfair or if I'm not selling them or making them, you know, and somebody else is going to buy them, they will go on the jurybybdk.com website. So the pieces that I've made from, I think, last week up to this morning, I'm going to be putting those on the Jewelry by BDK website, and I'm going to try to have them on there by the end of this week. So you're welcome to go over there and uh, take a look and see if you uh, see them there. And if you don't see them, you know, that don't mean not, I, that means I'm working on it. That's all that means. But I'm going to do my best to try to get them on there by the end of this week. All righty. And thanks for hanging out. We'll talk soon.